Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. With the rise of tools like ChatGPT and GPT-3, a lot of people have started using these tools to create long form articles and publish it online. It means that it is very really hard for us to distinguish between articles written by human or articles written purely by these kind of AI generated tools. So now that puts a question, how do we detect whether an article has been written by a human or let's say even not a human, how do we say whether an article has been written by tools like GPT-3 or ChatGPT? It is an important question to answer because a lot of places have started banning content using ChatGPT, especially after ChatGPT became quite prominent because of its free usage. A lot of university professors have started complaining that their students have started using ChatGPT to complete university assignment while not getting into the ethical discussion of whether it is right or wrong keeping all the philosophical and ethical discussion aside if we purely talk about only the technical aspect if we want to build a chat gpt detector or a gpt detector to detect whether a bunch of text a given input text is written by chat gpt or gpt3 we can build such a tool today thanks to openai yes very surprisingly what openai has done is when they released GPT-2, they actually used GPT-2's output to fine-tune a Roberta model and then create a GPT-2 output detector model, which means today you have got a GPT-2 output detector model. So while you cannot expect this model to work 100% perfectly on chat GPT output, this model could be really a good proxy to identify chat GPT text. And this model is available for us to use. It's there available as a model in itself. You can download the weights and literally start using it. But let's say you do not want to use the model in itself. You want a very simple UI where you want to go copy paste the text and you want to figure out whether this is a chat GPT or GPT generated output. Now that is a tool that is available for you from Hugging Face. On Hugging Face, if you go to huggingface.co, slash openai detector then you get a very nice little tool like this and then here you can paste text and then it is going to give you a probability score between real and fake real is more human and the fake is more of chat gpt output or gpt2 output to be precise so let us test this tool out first i'm going to go to wikipedia and i want to copy the content related to elon musk and we know wikipedia has been created by human beings we do not know at this point whether chat GPT output have gone into Wikipedia because you know that two platforms like Stack Overflow have already started banning chat GPT. But on platforms like Wikipedia, we currently do not know if that is the case. So assuming and believing that this is human generated text, let's copy the first top part, come back to this tool and then paste it here and then see it is predicting. So after it predicts, you can see whether it is real or fake. Let's wait for it to predict. Okay, it has predicted and it says it's 99.98% it is real, which means it is written by human beings. Out of the 581 tokens, it has used the first 510 tokens to make this prediction. Also note that this tool works reliable after first 50 tokens. So this one, it says it is created by human and looks like this tool is working. Now let us go and then go to our chat GPT output. So I create, I asked chat GPT to create an article or essay, write an essay on Elon Musk. So now I'm going to copy this until the end and then I'm going to go paste it. So the existing output has been deleted and I paste it. So you can see Elon Musk is a business magnet. Elon Musk is a business magnet. So come back here and then see now the prediction is happening. Let's wait and see if the GPT-2 output detector can actually work fine on ChatGPT. The prediction has been successfully made and it says based on the 430 tokens, it's only 0.02% real and 99.998% it is fake. And that is true because this output is generated by ChatGPT. So it looks like this tool does its job properly. One thing for you to keep in mind is this map model, like the underlying model that that is used by this web application does not use chat GPT output rather it uses GPT-2 output even then it is quite good so let us try another example live so I'm going to reset my thread and I'm going to say uh, explain quantum computing in simple terms click 
send it and then it is going to generate a bunch of text that would explain quantum computing in simple terms meanwhile i'm going to go to wikipedia and then type quantum computing this is again for us to validate whether you know the model can actually do the right answer the right answer and the wrong answer correctly wrong answer so copy the text paste it here and then wait and see what it is going to predict meanwhile let's wait okay so gpt chat gpt has already created this is quite small so i don't understand whether it will work properly but let's see okay so this says this is 99.98 percent real which is what we pasted from wikipedia now let's go to the chat gpt copy the text come back here delete everything paste it and then see if it can predict okay based on 88 tokens it says it is mostly fake not real which means this gpt2 output detector and also the underlying model of gpt2 output detector the underlying model can be used to detect whether a text is gpt3 or chat gpt generated ai text or just a human text and this is quite important and helpful if uh, you are somebody in a profession where it is important for you to get this distinction whether the given text is human generated or an ai generated you could use this tool this model is available for free this tool is available for free i link both in the youtube description make sure you check it out if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise happy prompting